Oh. Oh, yeah. No, that definitely will allow me to shoot better. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Big Fry, and today I decided to go back through my backlog, my inbox. I get emailed all the time. Aspiring game developers wanting to showcase their title to the world, wanting an honest opinion of what they need to improve on. And I mean, I know a lot of them are just looking for marketing, but it does help to give them some kind of idea as to where they need to go in terms of what they're trying to make. So I decided instead of making three videos on, you know, three different games, let's just combine them all into one. We'll make one long tail video for you guys to enjoy and maybe you can see something that you want to support. I'll have all the links to all of these games down in the description below. If you guys enjoy the videos, please leave a like on it. Consider subscribing if you haven't done so already. The first game we're going to take a look at is a game called Arms Race. And just to set the stage for, for what we're going into here. Um, I got hit up by somebody named Alan. He says he's been watching the channel for over three years. His brother and him love my channel. And they want me to test out their game, good or bad review. They say that they value my opinion and just want honest feedback. Uh, they say you're by far one of the best game testers on YouTube. <laughs> Let, let's be real. A lot of the games that I'm playing and testing right now, they're trash. All right. And it's very easy to see that in most of my videos. They say they're working on a demo, but here's where the game is at right now. They sent me a link to... Uh, a mega download. I'm going to have a link to their YouTube channel. You guys are currently seeing the trailer, the YouTube video that they sent me to like preface this email. So let's jump in and see exactly what this demo is about. <laughs> All right. Uh, this is arms race. Let's take a look at the settings first off. Yeah, yeah. Let's make sure that this is good for me. I always play in uh, full screen windowed. Um, let's go. Let's take a look at their weapons. Oh, whoa. That was a weird camera shot. Uh, primary. American sh shotgun. Is that what it is? SKS. <laughs> All right. So we got the XM8. Secondary, uh, Austrian pistol or pistol. Hand cannon or magnum. Let's do the Austrian pistol because it looks dope. Uh, special MP or epic gun. That's the Unreal 4 guy. Great. Just take that shit out of here for now. Here's the thing. <laughs> Obviously, a lot of this stuff is assets or, you know, fucking default Unreal stuff. And here's my thing. A lot of people I already know. I, I Big Fry, it's a prototype. They just want to get some feedback. Okay. Multiplayer, create game, I guess. Max players, uh, map. We got new map. <laughs> okay. Enable bots. Can't even scroll that. Okay. Invasion. Capture oh my, the objective. Yeah. All right. Kill the cool. enemy. Great. Wait, is this the map from Call of Duty? Yeah. Yeah, it is. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay, so we have lean. Securing Alpha. Oh, okay. This is an asset flip for sure, hundred percent. Yeah, the FPS just dips every shot that gets. Here's the thing, bro. Here's what I. Alpha. All right, cool. Conquest, great. There's one point on the map. Fantastic. Here's what I don't understand about this whole situation. Why do you reach out to YouTubers? They they ask me. They want you know the review, good or bad. What am I looking at? There's nothing here. There's just nothing. Like, great. The You got lean, which looks good. Your guns can fire. You got a reload animation that just looks very basic. And everything else is just total assets. Why even reach out? What, what are we doing? You have one map that's called New Map. What are we even fucking looking at here? Is that how pistols look with sights on it? Oh, that's, that's your knife. Okay, let's throw a grenade. What do grenades look like? Boop. Let's see. 
Cool. Yep. No, that definitely looks good. It takes time. That's all it takes is time. Like, why reach out now when you have nothing here? It makes no fucking sense. All right. Now we got an XM8. That looks way better, doesn't it? Hold on. Oh. Oh, yeah. No, that definitely will allow me to shoot better. This is, yeah, this is how people shoot guns. I like that there was a laser. Okay, so we got a laser on this gun. Take the crosshair off with this weapon sway. Here, here's, here's what you do. Okay, think about this. Let's go right here. Hey, 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 hey. Okay, so we have, we have weapon collision, which is nice. Okay, kinda, kinda works. I have to change the hitbox on some things. Take the crosshair off, okay? So now we got this laser. The fire effects look dope, okay? You guys got lean. You guys got bullet impact sounds, which is great. Take the HUD, take off the fucking, uh, the health, the default UE4 health, take away the crosshair, and have a game like this. Obviously fix the fucking gun so you can actually aim them so it doesn't look like you just put like an asset sight on an asset gun, right? Take six months. Come up with a, a map. You could probably find somebody in any any Discord that has game devs in it who would probably be looking for some contract work and get them to make a fucking map for you. This is just literally taken from, from Modern Warfare. Uh, what's the map called? Speedball? trash in modern warfare it's good but that's because they own the fucking thing and holy shit you might actually have something that you you could really want to show off like i just don't understand what you want me to critique here uh you know what let me get a thumbnail let's get the thumbnail going there we go okay cool the next game on this list is is a game that i i really need to preface by saying this is exactly what aspiring indie game developers who are, you know, single man teams, one, two, three man teams, this is exactly how you approach releasing a game onto Steam. This game is called Attack on Toys. I know Baron Von Games has covered this game in the past. You guys can download this for free right now on itch.io. And what it is, is a wave defense game that is basically set in like a Sarge's Heroes Army Men type experience. We've seen other games come and do this in the past. A game that I actually really enjoyed called The Mean Greens. This game is a little bit different. There's a few different game modes to play, a couple of different maps as well. There's actually quite a bit of content considering you can play it for absolutely nothing and i am going to have a link to this one as well these guys are going to be launching on steam we talk about that during the whole gameplay portion of this video it's being developed and published by n7t games it started as a school project in 2018 and they're working and remaking it and are going to launch it on steam but one thing they told me in the email is the game is going to be exactly the same on itch.io and Steam. So if you guys don't wanna pay for it when they inevitably launch it, you can literally play the entire game for free from their itch page, which is fucking incredible already. This is how you gain customer faith, especially now with how volatile gaming is and how every single trailer we're seeing now just always seems so fake. These are the kind of indie games that I wanna showcase, the kind of people that I wanna showcase. And if we can push more people to go and support them on itch and when the game comes out, mwah, chef's kiss. That's how we do things. So let's jump in and see what Attack on Toys is like. Prepare your defenses. Okay, so we're just right in the thick of it here. It's an interesting uh, third person camera element. I guess it I guess it kind of it feels good. Personally for me, when I play uh, third person shooters, I always want to keep the character moving where the camera is. Um, and then you work on the animations from there. This is a little different. Oh, I just threw my rifle. Oh my God. Okay. B. Oh, we got mines. Okay, hold on. So mine, mine, mine. Uh, oh, barbed wire. Oh, here we go. Okay. All right. So it's, it's a wave defense style game. It's kind of cool. What's three? What is this? Oh, is this like a bunker? M. Oh shit. Look at this. Uh, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I think we have to defend a headquarters. Put a mine there, and put a fucking mine there. Full screen on, graphics quality, let's go into Super Ultra. Oh, yes! M16, shotgun, and a bazooka. I really wish that somebody- I know we have the game called The Mean Greens. Oh, we have Prone? I really wish somebody would make a squad-style game 
uh, with like toys like this. Imagine like playing in the backyard. So it's kind of like a forest third person army men game. Like we got vehicles and like you're taking over objectives around the backyard. So like uh, a, a controller or like a Lego area is like an objective, but it's like squad. This is incredible. I don't know what we're supposed to be shooting at. Looks like, oh. Bro, this is sick. I don't know if you can play this cooperatively or not, but I do know that they are currently on Steam, just in like a coming soon state. Oh God, I threw my fucking gun away again. Hold on, where'd it go? Hey, gun. Now, come here. Holy shit, bro. So we got... Wait, who's... What video is this? Baron... Baron Von Games? They... Oh, look at that. <laughs> That's crazy. And then we got their Discord here. That's fucking awesome. Ooh. So yeah, there's definitely some glitches. The character movement is not the best. I think if they went with a fixed cam for third person, I think it would play better. Wait, can I enter this? Oh my god. Let's fucking go. Can the tank get up? I don't know. We'll see. Oh yeah, we can. Ooh, baby. Built for tough. Oh shit. All right. Now they'll never get down the slide. Whoa! Bro, give me a Battlefield game that's set like this. A Battlefield Sarge's Hero game in 2021 would be amazing. So yeah, this says relive your childhood toys, come to life, build your army, toys, make battle scenarios, watch your toys battle each other, customize your play. Uh, it's being made by N7T Games. No release date yet. Um, let's see, approximately how long will the game be in early access? So it is going to be an early access title when it launches. Attack on Toys is currently developed by, oh, it's one person. The game may take up to three years or more to get fully released. Thank you for not being an absolute idiot when it comes to release dates and, and time frames. And that's one of the biggest mistakes that developers make. Full release expected to happen around 2023. Originally uh, first released from July 1st, 2018 as a school project. This is exactly the kind of stuff that I want to showcase on the channel moving forward. Games that are on itch that you can download right now for free that are eventually going to be made into full-fledged projects. This is how you do it. Obviously, they've reached out to people like Baron Von Games to get some coverage of this game before they decide to, I don't know, launch it on Steam. There's a lot of content here considering it was a school project and you can play it right now for next to nothing. You can choose to support them on itch. You can pay uh, a little bit as much as you want to, to play the game or you can just download it for free give it a give it a test this is pretty fucking sweet man all right the last game on today's list is a game that was sent to me from a guy named patrick who is apparently in ireland and he's been solo developing a sci-fi stealth game inspired by the old splinter cell games and he wanted to see if i'd be interested in making a video on it so this is like part of this whole thing like hey i get all these all the time Let's, let's start making some content with them. This game is apparently going to be dropping a demo on Steam on February 3rd. Uh, I'm going to have a link to that Steam page down below, and you guys can go and try the demo when it inevitably goes up. It's a sci-fi action game. You wake up alone, stranded out in space. An enemy has boarded your ship. Your crew are either dead or missing. Hide in the shadows. Take your enemies out without leaving a trace. That is how you survive. So we're about to jump in here and see how Specular Stranded is. If you guys made it this far in the video, thank you for watching. Leave a like on it if you enjoyed. Let's jump into Specular Stranded. The year is 2138. Earth has been ravaged by war, famine, and extreme storms due to the climate crisis. Humanity has been divided in two. Those who remain on Earth, and those who started again on Jupiter's moon Europa. Two years ago, the Specular ship was sent from Earth on a desperate mission to find an answer to Earth's ever-deteriorating climate. Okay. Okay. So we got an actual cinematic. It's like a sci-fi stealth game inspired by the old Splinter Cell games. I mean, I'm in. 
you, you, you had me at stealth. You had me at sci-fi. <laughs> and best believe you had me at splinter cell. Uh, okay, investigate the control panel. All right. Okay. Press four to turn on flashlight. Okay. It's weird how I'm like still lit up. Like it's 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 crazy because it's supposed to be a stealth game about hiding in shadows, but like the lighting is actually just really fucked up. So that's a little strange. It doesn't give you the right feedback on if you're actually hidden or not. Like I know we have the visible thing, but like I feel like in some areas there I should have been hidden completely, but that's just me. Oh my god. A dead body. Mm. 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 Yeah, yeah, you like that? <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Be serious, Big Fry. It's a weird design because you're kind of in like claustrophobic areas like that. And I feel like the camera is pulled too far away from the character. I feel like it's pulled too far away and it makes it look really clunky because you can see the lack of animations, right? So your brain automatically goes to like the lack of polish. I don't know. That's just me. To the observation deck. Okay. Now it says proceed. So does that mean I got to go this way? Oh, oh, hold on. Oh shit. We got vaulting. Okay. Is it about getting onto that pipe? No. Oh, ow. Perished while in... Wait, what? But I didn't die. <laughs> it's just a demo, Big Fry. All right, fair enough. Fair enough, Big Fry. You're right. Do I got to climb on this thing? Nope. Oh, nope. I got to get up there. Oh. I'm, I'm a fucking idiot. I'm a fucking idiot. This is why I don't play these kind of games on stream. It just makes me feel like a dumbass. Do I got to jump over this? Huh? Okay, that worked. Oh my god. <laughs> that climbing animation's so funny. Here we go. Mechanics, am I right? Gameplay mechanics. It's the best fucking gameplay ever. We got another dead body over here, ladies and gentlemen. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Okay, sorry. Oh. I was just fucking your dead friend. I'm gonna go up and stealth attack this son of a bitch. E! Ooh! And you're dead. Oh, f fuck! Okay. Oh, you can pick up the body? This is what I used to do in all Splinter Cell games. I would just like carry the body with me through the rest of the level. And nothing's changing here. <laughs> I love how I can jump while I'm crouched carrying a corpse. Riveting gameplay, am I right? <laughs> uh, hold and release B to throw distraction. Okay, hold on. Let's turn my light up. Oh, oh. Oh, shit. There is a small weapon locker up ahead. No, 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 Try no, no, take no. these guys out without getting shot. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, I'm just going to do this with a body on my shoulder, bro. I think I fucked up. Hey, bro. What was that? It was just me. <laughs> Kill him. Kill him. No. All right. Put you down. All right. All right. Now kill you. All right. Yay. Yeah, yeah. Boom. Boom. That was actually a sick animation. All right. Now I get to pick up you. <laughs> Woohoo! Oh. Fuck. We've got a man down. Stay alert. Oh, fuck. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what? My position. All right, bud. Ah, okay. All right. <laughs> oh, you know what, man? I look. There's obviously a lot of issues. Um, the game just feels clunky just from like the jump. But uh, you know, with with enough development, you might be able to turn this into something. 
Try take these guys out without getting shot. Oh, I stabbed him in the dick. Okay, now we know there's a guy at the edge of the hallway here. That's not what I wanted to do. Ah! We've got a man down. Stay alert. <laughs> Get away from me. Fuck. Hey! Don't look at me, you son of a bitch. Oh, for fuck's sakes. All right. Okay, hold on. Why aren't my distraction things working? Fuck you! <laughs> All right, that's going to do it for me on this video. If you guys enjoy the content, please leave a like on it. Consider subscribing if you haven't done so already. It definitely helps the algorithm gets more engagement. I appreciate everybody who has been watching the content. We've been trying to put out as much as we possibly can with how little, you know, game news and information is coming out right now. I figure let's go back and get caught up through the inbox and see uh, maybe there's, you know, Diamond in the Roughs. Maybe there's some games we can take a look at that you guys might enjoy. If you guys ever want to support the channel while still getting discounts on great games, you can check out my links in the description. I have affiliate links for Fanatical, Humble Bundle, and I also have my own Nexus store, which is actually a new store storefront being brought up by the guys who did chrono before so you guys can go and take a look at the games that i can recommend to you you have little write-ups and you guys can support the channel directly and it also has links to my merch and other things over there i appreciate y'all watching hope you guys have a good rest of your day and i'll see you on the next one <laughs>